Okay, so this is the setup, and against all expectations, it's actually holding a vacuum. So the food goes in there, that goes in the esky full of ethanol and dry ice, and then the vacuum pump pulls the air out of there. And so the water vapor, or really not really vapor, but sort of airborne water molecules come along here and then sort of spray out in a cone shape and then they condense on the bottom of the glass jar. Um, so this is all at vacuum now. I don't know if that pressure gauge is moving. I don't think it is actually, which is incredible, given that this is made out of an M16 bolt um, that's made of a, a M8 bolt. A lot of it's turned up on the lathe. Um, annoyingly, the thread on the top of that was like a 7 16th inch, 20 turns per inch thread. Um, and my tap set's all metric. Um, but fortunately, I inherited uh, an Imperial tap and die set just to mismatch schmozzle of bits and bobs. And in there just happened to be everything I needed to make all the parts I needed. So thanks very much, Doug. Um, so this one here is um, soldered on. That one's just got an O-ring on the other side. Um, so on the inside here, you can't really see, but there's a, an M16 nut on the other side of that one. And I turned flat faces on all the nuts and everything, so there's a nice either metal-to-metal uh, metal or rubber-to-metal or rubber-to-rubber rubber seal, like everything. Um, I'm quite surprised that one actually worked, because I don't have the proper uh, sort of dome wedge profile on the mating face in there. This doesn't actually use the threads to seal. Um, it just uses the threads to pull a sort of ball into a cup sort of arrangement. But it seems to work, and it's still not losing any pressure. Um, that's pretty sweet. So um, eight bucks a kilo for granulated dry ice, and I've got a massive bucket of metho down there. So I think this weekend it's time to make some freeze-dried kiwi fruit. Ice cream, strawberries, mango. Mango's in season. That's going to be good. Um, I might just leave this running. Um, so part of the freeze dry process is to get it all as close as you can to a vacuum and then heat up the stuff that's in here. Um, so it melts. No, not melts. Sort of sublimates the solid water from here into a gas so it can spray out and condense on the bottom of here. Um, but to heat this I need to put some power, put some watts into it somehow. Um, uh, applied Science, Ben over on Applied Science used a, a tungsten filament light bulb to shine light onto it. I don't know if any of that infrared was actually getting through to the food because um, I would expect that all to be absorbed by the glass of the flask that it was in. Um, but I'm hoping just to be able to chuck this in a temperature controlled water bath. Um, I've got a, a hot plate over there that I can use. Um, and then there'll just be some radiant heat from the metal onto the food and that should do the sublimation. Okay, um, so in terms of optimization of this system, um, I'd like some bigger diameter pipes. Um, this is just stuff I had laying around without ordering anything. Um, but it seems to work alright. I'll let the pump run for a bit longer, see how low it can go and how long it will stay there. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this all turned out. And Sammy was great help. He's been over there making clay creations all day. Okay, bye bye.